If you had one too many pieces of candy tonight, you are not alone. The American Heart Association says on average we eat more than two to three times the recommended amount of sugar each day. So how much sugar should we be consuming? Good question. Kirsten Mitchell found some tips for cutting back. From Halloween treats. We have the seasonal peanut brittle. To holiday eats. Cookies and we eat cake and we eat Hershey bars. The season of sweets is never ending. I know there's a lot of sugar in this building. <laughs> at Regina's Candies in St. Paul. How much sugar do you eat a day, you think? A lot. If you're my dentist, please stop watching. What does sugar do to our body? It goes into our bloodstream, and then our friend insulin puts it into our cells so that we can utilize it for energy. Dr. Allison Golnick is an integrative pediatrician at Alina Health. If we have too much sugar, insulin can burn out, causing diabetes. And if we have too much sugar, our body has to store it somewhere. So it gets stored as adipose tissue contributing to obesity. How do you feel after you eat a lot of sugar? Do you notice a change in your body? I think I get a hit of energy and then I get sleepy. I kind of feel more groggy and I'm ready to take a nap. Mm -hmm. I get that that sugar crash I think is what they call it. What is the guidance? I mean how much sugar should we be consuming a day? In general, you want to have less than 25 grams of added sugars. A little more maybe for men, a little less for kids, but that's around the number you want. 25 grams of sugar is about six teaspoons. May sound like a lot, but it's easy to consume that amount in just one serving. These candy bars, for example, have about 25 grams of sugar. And soda, an astounding 75 grams. So drinking one of these bottles would be about three times your daily limit. So this is almost your daily value. Ugh. Diet or zero sugar labeled foods contain artificial sweeteners, which doctors say can be harmful too. But unfortunately, the data shows that they're still contributing to metabolic side effects, which are like diabetes and obesity. And the big whammy with these is that they're like a hundred times as sweet as sugar. So they're training our taste buds to love sugar and want more and more and more. But if I have one cookie, I have to have two. Dr. Golnick recommends pairing sweets with fiber or protein, eating a savory breakfast instead of sweet, and taking a walk after eating. I think um, there are more healthy things that are easy to grab instead of a cookie if you have discipline. Discipline and understanding often confusing nutrition labels can help set you up for sweet success. So it's really being aware and cognizant of this stuff and just getting, you know, proactive in your own food that you're eating. With photojournalist Jose Pasqual, Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO News. Here's a helpful tip for identifying sweeteners in food labels. Look for ingredients that end in OSE or OS, like fructose, dextrose, and maltose.